Welcome to the tutorial, establishing communication to the AWS cloud with the EZ4. In this example, an existing project with a simulated pump station with two pumps is used. The desired and actual fill level of the water tank, the status of the two pumps and the water pressure are to be transmitted to the AWS cloud. It should also be possible to start and stop the pump station from the AWS cloud. The following technical requirements must be met. An easy e 4 basic device with firmware version 2.25 or higher and hardware version 08 or higher. An easy soft programming software version 8.25 or higher. A license is required for the easy soft programming software. You can download software, firmware, and updates at www.eaton.com software. An AWS account with your own AWS login for access to the AWS cloud. An AWS access key ID. An AWS secret access key. And an AWS session token. Some notes. This tutorial shows the registration and connection of the Easy e 4 to the AWS cloud. It also shows the transfer of data read and write with the AWS cloud computing platform. Further information on the AWS cloud service can be found in application note AP050027. From hardware version 08, the EZE4 can communicate with the AWS cloud computing platform in order to make individual operands available there and also to write there. Communication takes place via MQTT protocol, via the AWS IoT service to a thing, your device in the cloud, in the AWS IoT core. A so-called device shadow is used here. Data is only transmitted to the AWS cloud when the EZE4 is in run state. An AWS account is created via the AWS homepage HTTPS, AWS, Amazon.com. Varios models are available here, including free ones, for example for a test phase. The further processing of the transmitted data, for example, to a dashboard or the price calculation in the AWS cloud is not the subject of this tutorial. Please contact an authorized AWS partner in this regard. For details on the structure of the simulated pump station and its easy e 4 program, please refer to the video tutorial EVTA01, 015EN, handling the data logger with the easy e 4The existing Easy e 4 program has been slightly expanded via the programming view. In order to be able to switch the pump station on and off from the AWS cloud as well, Marker M2 was added to the program. The ED, Edge Detection, function block is used to identify the rising and falling edge for the status change of the Marker M2 in the AWS cloud. As can be seen in the project view under system settings, the Easy e 4 in the existing project has been updated to firmware version 2.25 via SD card. In addition, the IP settings for communication with the AWS cloud have been changed from static IP address to DHCP in the Ethernet tab. To use the AWS cloud, Amazon Web Services must be dragged from the Cloud Services group at the top left onto the Easy e 4 basic device. The Amazon Web Services can now be configured by selecting the AWS symbol. A comment here, AUS underscore tutorial, can be assigned in the device information. This will not be used in the following. The operands to be exchanged are now selected in the cyclical data tab. For the operand type M marker, only the marker M2 should be exchanged, therefore start index 2 and index size 1. The operand should only be transferred on change and writable in order to start and stop the pump station from the AWS cloud. The last column update period is not relevant here due to the previous selection of on change. The marker bytes three and four for the operating status of the two pumps are to be transferred. The start index is therefore set to three with index size two. In this example, the two values should be transmitted every five seconds. As the last entry, the marker words 257 to 259 for the current water level. The set point for the water level and the water pressure should be transmitted. The start index is set to 257 with index size 3 for the three continuous marker words. Here too, the values should be transmitted every five seconds. The settings on the AWS settings tab are not used in this tutorial. 
To make it easier to identify the operands defined in the cyclic data tab in the AWS cloud, they can be given alias names. The alias names may have a maximum length of 32 characters. Only alphabets, numbers, and underscores may be used. Here, the name pump underscore station underscore on underscore off is used for the operand marker two, submersible underscore pump for marker byte three, booster underscore pump for marker byte four, water underscore level for marker word 257, set point underscore water level for marker word 258, and water underscore pressure for marker word 259. The change project is saved. In the communication view, the interface for the transmission was previously determined via search IP devices. The connection to the EZE4 is established via the online button. The transfer of the program is initiated via the PC to device button. As no password has been assigned in the project settings under the security tab, the following window suggests a password for cybersecurity reasons. This is ignored in this project. As the Easy e 4 is still in run status, it is set to stop status. Once the transfer is complete, the Easy e 4 remains in stop mode for the following steps. In the Diagnostic Buffer tab, the message code 1177 indicates that the Easy e 4 is not yet registered in the cloud. The Easy e 4 has been set to run status once again to demonstrate the following process. For the registration process, select the icon for the AWS cloud in the top left of the Easy e 4 basic device in the communication view. The IoT access tab is used to select the register thing button. The registration process can only be carried out when the Easy e 4 is in stop status. In the window that appears, the credentials, in other words, the access data, are entered in step one. You will find the access data in your AWS account for Mac OS or Linux and as used here for Windows. An Eaton AWS account is shown here as an example. From this AWS account, copy the data for the AWS IoT region on which server is the cloud located, the AWS Access Key ID, the AWS Secret Access Key, and the AWS Session Token and enter them in the corresponding lines. The entries are confirmed with Next. In step two, certificate signing request, the specific freely editable customer data is stored. The general name for the AWS IoT certificate is defined under common name, in this case, AWS underscore tutorial underscore cloud. The country or region is entered, in this case, Germany. Under organization, for example, the company is entered, here Eaton Industries GmbH. The business unit, in this case, training underscore center, is also entered. Finally, the name of the policy to be created and assigned to the certificate, here Easy e 4 iot is specified and confirmed with Next. In step three, add certificate to the thing, the name of the new thing is defined, here AWS underscore Easy e 4 underscore tutorial. Alternatively, an existing thing in the AWS cloud can also be selected, for example, for an exchange. With finish, the exchange with the AWS cloud takes place and the registration status changes to registered. In addition, the previously defined thing name and the MQTT endpoint to the Amazon AWS cloud are displayed. The successful connection to the AWS cloud is also displayed in the Easy e 4 diagnostic buffer. The AWS Cloud Console can now be accessed in the created AWS account. If the wrong region is selected, this can be corrected in the top taskbar. The IoT service is now searched for in the search window. In the results window that appears, the IoT Core service is marked as a favorite and then started. On the left-hand side of the IoT core services, all registered devices in the AWS account are listed via Manage, All Devices and Things. The previously created and registered thing AWS underscore Easy e 4 underscore tutorial is selected. In the new window that appears, you can now check under Certificates, Certificate ID, whether the policy previously defined in Step 2, here Easy e 4 IoT, is listed. The allowed policy actions are then shown in the policy. 
change back to the overview of the created thing. The Easy E4 is switched to run status for the next action. Information that there are new activities now appears in the activity tab of the thing. Each shadow update contains a timestamp and whether the telegram was accepted. When the simulated pump station is started, the previously defined alias names are updated, in this case every five seconds. It is not possible to access the data in the activity view. The listed data has already expired by the time it appears. To always see the last transmitted values, switch to the Device Shadows tab and select Classic Shadow. The firmware version of the EZ4 and the serial number are also shown here. In addition, the connected data point shows whether a connection to the created thing is available. For a write command, you switch back to the overview of the created thing. Under the Activity tab, select the MQTT Test Client button on the right. A new tab opens with the MQTT Test Client. In the MQTT Test Client, all topics that are available for the read function of the registered thing are automatically listed in the Subscribe to a Topic tab. In this tutorial, the focus is on the topics rejected, telegram rejected, and accepted, telegram accepted, so the other topics are deleted for the purpose of better overview. A write command to the connected device can be triggered in the Publish to a Topic tab. In this case, the pump station is to be switched on and off via the AWS cloud. The shadow update topic is selected for this. A JSON compliant message must be edited here. The message prepared here consists of state, desired, the desired data point, here, pump station on off, and the desired value, here. One stands for switching on the pump station and zero for switching off the pump station. The correct syntax of the JSON compliant message can be checked using freely available tools on the internet. The result from the JSON formatter then overwrites the prepared message. Some warnings. In this example program, there is no check as to whether switching the pump station on and off via the AWS cloud or via local operation has higher priority. Furthermore, this is not a field bus that automatically resets the status in the event of an interruption. The last status is retained here until a new command is sent. When the Publish button is pressed, the message is sent to the connected device. In the lower area of the window visible here, the status change can be seen under Accepted, indicating that the pump station has been switched on or off. A note on entering values. In the AWS cloud, for example, no comma numbers are accepted. The error message invalid JSON then appears here. If the specified value is JSON compliant, but outside the permitted value range, Easy E4 retains the last correct value in this case. The invalid value is ignored. If the AWS account has the appropriate authorization, the connection status can be monitored using last will. This last will would then look like displayed. A rule must be generated for this using an SQL command. This is done by selecting message routing rules and then the create rule button. The rule is given a name under specify rule properties. In this case, AWS underscore easy for underscore tutorial underscore last will. A description can optionally be added under rule description. With next, a prepared SQL command appears in the configure SQL statement window. The placeholder attribute must be replaced by asterisk for selection everything. The placeholder topic filter must be replaced by $ADS slash things slash thing name slash shadow slash last will. So in this case, by $AWS slash things slash AWS underscore easy for underscore tutorial slash shadow slash last will. Only when the topic filter is framed with an apostrophe is it displayed in blue and accepted. The filter function with where condition is not required in this case. Click Next to open the Attach Rule Actions window. Republish to AWS IoT Topic is selected here under Action 1. Under Topic, information is provided on the shadow 
to which an update should be made. The relevant topic with the used thing name and the shadow update is displayed. To republish the topic used, it is important that two leading dollar characters are used here, as shown in red in the AWS manual. Use the Create New Role button to assign the desired name in the window that appears. If you do not have authorization to create rules, the following message appears. In this case, please contact your AWS administrator so that you can obtain the necessary authorization. With existing authorization, the rule creation AWS underscore tutorial for the last will was carried out here. For demonstration purposes, switch to the device shadow tab of the thing. The connected data point is set to true here. This is followed by a switch to the activity tab. If the connection between the AWS cloud and the EZE4 is lost, AWS recognizes after approximately 1.5 minutes that the thing is no longer connected and executes the last will. The message disconnected then appears in the activity tab and the rule created leads to the shadow updated. The connected data point is now set to false in the device shadow tab. The connected data point could be further processed on a dashboard, for example. Thank you for your attention.